Hello friends, today we are going to talk about a topic related to microbiology. So as we know, what are bacteria? Bacteria are simply microscopic single-celled organisms that are present around us. So they come in many different types with many different ways to be categorized. One common way is by their morphology or shape. Okay, so there are three basic shape of bacteria. It is spherical shape and spiral shape. Spiral shaped bacteria can further be categorized based on amount of spirating they show. And there is the coccus. Co cocci are round spherical shaped bacteria. They can occur as single bacteria or be arranged in a pair, chain, cluster of bacteria depending on which type of co uh, coccus it is. As we can see over here, if it is singly present, it is known as coccus. Diplococcus. Uh, the combination of two bacteria, Staphylococcus. Here we can see a grape-like structure is forming. A specific pattern is there. Then the most important is stepto uh, Streptococci. Streptococcus are simply the chain-like structure. Okay. So, uh, well, we are talking about cocci. So, these bacteria cause many different types of common diseases. Among the common uh, cocci are Staphylococcus aureus, which appears as a, a cluster of cocci. Staph aureus can often be found in the nose and on the skin without causing diseases. It is also a normal flora of skin. Then uh, it is also responsible for causing conditions such as uh, boils, pneumonia, meningitis, toxic shock syndrome and streptococcus pyrogenes occurs as a chain of cocci. Okay, here I, I told you in a, uh, in a chain like pattern. Okay, so this causes disease that originate in the throat or skin, including step, uh, step throat and scarlet fever. Then the gram negative, these all are uh, streptococcus and staphylococcus are gram positive cocci. And we'll talk about the gram negative cocci. Gram negative cocci are Nigeria and Velunella. Well, Nigeria meningitis occurs in pairs of cocci. These bacteria cause bacterial meningitis and inflammation of the brain and the spinal cord after entering the body through nose or throat. Okay, so let us talk about the classification of the bacteria. Here we can we'll start with the uh, cocci, gram negative and gram positive. Gram negative is further divided into, into Nigeria and Velunella. Here one, one thing we have to keep in our mind that Nigeria are aerobes and Velunella are anaerobes. So these gram negative do not grow on Meconi agar. This grow uh, on chocolate agar. Where I have written no growth on Meconi agar, good growth on chocolate agar. Okay, so Nigeria are further divided into and gonorrhea and uh, Nigeria meningitis. So we'll talk about the gram positive cocci. These are also streptococcus and staphylococcus. Staphylococcus further divided into on the basis of its coagulation. The, it, these are coagulase positive and co coagulase negative. Coagulase positive are as aureus and coagulase negative are uh, as epidermides and uh, staph uh, cephropheticus. So let's just talk about this uh, streptococcus classification. These are uh, based on a hemolysis uh, classification that is alpha hemolytic, beta hemolytic and gamma hemolytic. Alpha hemolytic are pneumonia and viridum. Beta hemolytic are pyogens that is divided into group A and group B and um, pyogens and agalactic and gamma uh, hemolytics are enterococcus. One thing I would like to tell you that alpha hemolytic is further divided into, uh, into as viridens, sanguis and mutants. Here sang uh, sanguis is when the uh, disease related with our oral cavity. Basically these are presented to the oral cavity. So all disease related with our uh, oral cavity and teeth problems that will be due to aspirins. Here we can see the dental plague is due to sanguis and tooth decay is due to mutants. And the streptococcal infection, I would like to tell you that uh, are any type of infection caused by streptococcus group of bacteria. Okay, there are many different type of streptococcal bacteria. Infection vary in severity from mild throat infection to life threatening infection. Okay of the blood or organs. Most streptococcal infection can be treated by the simple antibiotics and the doses of antibiotics. So as I told you, 
एल्फा हेमलेटिक एंड बीटा हेमलेटिक एल्फा हेमलेटिक मेड अप ऑफ टू ग्रुप्स इंक्लूडिंग स्टेप्टोकोकस निमोनिया ओके एंड द बीटा हेमलेटिक मेड अप ऑफ सेवरल ग्रुप्स इंक्लूडिंग ग्रुप ए एंड ग्रुप बी स्टेप्टोकोकस ओके सो द ग्रुप ए वट इज द डिजीज और रिलेटेड टू ग्रुप ए ग्रुप ए स्ट्रेप आर ऑफन फाउंड ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द स्किन और इन साइड द थ्रोट ओके दिस आर सिंपली द नॉर्मल फ्लोरा एज ए टोल्ड यू दे आर कॉमन कॉज ऑफ इन्फेक्शन इन एडल्ट एंड चिल्ड्रन दे कैन स्प्रेड इन ड्रॉपलेट्स सो द ट्रांसमिशन इज थ्रू ड्रॉपलेट्स इन द कफ स्प्रूटम और स्नीज ऑफ सम वन विद अ इन्फेक्शन ओके इफ अ पर्सन इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम एन इन्फेक्शन सो देर माइट बी सम ट्रांसमिशन कॉज और थ्रू डायरेक्ट यू कॉन्टैक्ट विद एन इन्फेक्टेड पर्सन और कंटेम्परेटेड ऑब्जेक्ट सो हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द स्टेप ए इन्फेक्शन बट आर दिस स्टेप ए इन्फेक्शन वैन देर इज अ इन्फेक्शन विद अ थॉट ओके एंड विद अ स्किन सच एज सेलुलाइटिस एंड मिडल ईयर इन्फेक्शन सो इट विल इट इज थॉट इन्फेक्शन ऑल्सो टॉन्सिलाइटिस इन पैटिको अ स्किन इन्फेक्शन दैट कॉज सॉर्ट्स ब्लिस्टर्स और क्रस्ट to develop on the skin cellulitis and infection of the deeper layers of the skin okay mm, as we know the itis suffixes add for the inflammation so these are the infection of the deep layers which can cause affected areas to quickly become red painful swollen and hot a middle ear infection what is middle ear infection simply which often causes earache a high temperature fever and some temporary hearing loss sinusitis sinus is one of the major uh, disorder or disease related to the streptococcus uh, sinusitis an infection of the small cavities behind the forehead cheek bones which cause a blocked or runny nose and a throbbing pain in your face and the scarlet fever scarlet fever is an infection that causes widespread fine pink red rashes that feels like sandpaper to touch okay so now we'll talk about uh, the invasive strep infection uh, examples are pneumonia coughing meningitis me, sorry meningitis toxic shock syndrome diarrhea fainting dizziness necrotizing fasciitis headache stiff neck these are some invasive infections the group b strep group b strep over here is usually live harmlessly inside the digestive system and the vagina okay these are the normal flora of vagina and digestive system strep b can sometimes cause uti utis that is a urinary tract infection bone infection blood infection pneumonia particularly in vulnerable people such as the elderly and those with diabetes strep b in pregnancy it is the most estimated that around one in every four pregnant women have strep b bacteria in their vagina or digestive system okay the bacteria can sometime be passed on to the baby through the amniotic fluid okay a clear liquid that surround and protects the unborn uh, unborn baby in the womb okay or as the baby passes through the birth canal during labor so these bacteria also transmit through uh this uh, method and the most babies exposed to strep b will be unaffected but in an around one in every 2000 cases they can become infected so the strep b infection during pregnancy can cause miscarriage and stillbirth but this is also in rare strep b in newborn babies as newborn babies have a poorly developed immune system strep b infection can quickly spread through body causing serious infection such as meningitis pneumonia and the sometimes uh, symptoms of uh, strep b infection in a newborn usually develop within first few hours or days of giving birth and include um, poor feeding grunting when in breathing uh, irritability and usually high or low temperature unusual fast or slow breathing and unusual fast or slow heart rate okay in some cases a baby can pick up a strep b infection a few weeks or months after birth it's not known exactly why this happens but it's re- not related to infection during birth symptoms of late onset group b strep uh, infection can include fever poor feeding vomiting reduced con- uh, consciousness then preventing and treatment of strep b infection can 
in babies it is possible to reduce the chances of a baby becoming infected with strep b by identifying cases where there is risk of bacteria being passed from mother to their child and give the mother antibiotics directly into vein during labor so let's just talk about um, the nigeria so this is the part first in part second of this lecture we'll talk about gram negative classification and uh, their infection and disease related to gram negative